Skyblock is a game full of a variety of players. Among these players includes a group known as Simps. Pretty sure these guys need no introduction, but you know, they tier 3 the random Twitch streamers, you know, the usual. But sometimes these Simps simp too far. Too far as of giving away billions of coins for a simple picture of a video game character with the famous Ahiga. Of course I'm referring to the marine hentai situation, but what about an actual conscious person? Or better yet, what if someone was uh, faking to be an e-girl for some in-game coins? Like if people are willing to pay 2 billion for a funny 2D drawing, imagine what they'll pay for a real person. Like can this marine art really play bedwars with me? Well obviously it's a no. But this video is about the story of a fake e-girl who scammed 25 billion coins then got banned. Also before I get into the video, remember to subscribe because it helps support these longer types of videos. Anyways, this all started when a few people started to use an e-girl skin. Now these people soon evolved into a larger community and these people formed a guild called the Diamond Diggers. Now not everyone here were pretending to be e-girl, it was mostly just one co-op who ended up scamming the money. But still, I feel like that this guild will help people scam while maintaining their reputation. But in total, they made around 600 million coins, and this is where things got rather exciting. What happened next is that a fake e-girl named Medox was just chilling with an e-girl skin, and a simp wanted to play Bed Wars for 70 million coins. And being a smart businessman, Medox took the deal. And I mean, who wouldn't? What, you get 70 bucks worth of items just for like playing a couple Ben Wars matches? Like, this is unironically, actually insane, actually OP speed silver money making method. This led Medox to keep on talking to him and he was able to gain his trust. At first, only getting a Hyperion from him, but eventually they got both of him and his cult members to be added to his co op. And even after all of this, he finally scammed him and the simp got him $20 with the Skyblock gems. Although, I have no idea if that part is true or not. Anyways, what would happen later is Menox and their entire co-op has gone into the simp's co-op. This let them scam for the simp's whole entire net worth, hundreds and I mean hundreds of hours of grinding just lost. They ended up scamming 2 billion coins out of the co-op, and the simp ended up having to create a new profile. Anyways, after the simp, their next big scam was a 2NFG type of deal where they'll do a coin flip, but the thing is, is that the coin flip was, of course, rigged. And from this one coin flip, they scammed for 6 billion coins. And this part's kind of fuzzy, but there are some rumors that they did another coin flip, but they ended up losing and just not paying the money. But personally, I would say that their dumbest scam is that they convinced someone to buy blue mushroom boots for 500 million coins. Mind you, something like that would be around 5 or 10 million, meaning that they somehow convinced someone that this was worth around 100 times the base price. And another victim of this e-girl scammer was actually K-Cub, who was scammed out of an exotic item. In simple terms, Medox and K-Cub were friends for around 3 months. This friendship led them to build trust, and they trade exotics with each other with no collat. And then one day, Medox asked for some green farmer boots, and there was only around 2 of them in existence at the time, and what he did is he just didn't return it, he never gave it back, and he was never able to get his things back. Mind you, K-Cub is usually like the number one or two island on the island search list, and he got scanned by this fake e-girl. And at this time, he was also scanned by someone else, so two people scammed him, and this caused him probably a lot of stress. Now, the things we just mentioned were kind of like all the confirmed info. I still want to go into the unexplained things and the problem we faced, but the first problem was figuring out if the e-girl scam was actually real. Most of the reason me doing so much research into this is that in my YouTube scammer video, a bunch of... God, I, can't, I still can't pronounce his name. A bunch of Isis sims basically said that since I showed no proof of him actually scamming, that it was clickbait, and let me just say... It... <sighs> Corn the Nerd and Menacing Banana also tried to scam the co-op, and I might go in more detail later, but I still need to confirm if this is real. Because the main reason this all started is that an account called Hyperman basically told us a bunch of information. You know, he claimed that he was one of the biggest scam co-ops, and that he was a fake e-girl, stuff like that. But what I found suspicious is that he just wouldn't give out IGN at all. Anyways, after waiting a bit, he finally gave out IGN, and this was a person whose island was very, uh, new, I guess you could say. 
together. On the surface, it doesn't look like that this guy had like 2 billion coins, but then I remembered he probably just deleted his account. And he clearly still plays on his new account because, you know, all the crops are destroyed, the minions aren't full, so it's very interesting. Anyway, he seems to be in a different time zone for me because we ended up finding his Discord and I messaged him and he was always offline. And he seemed to always be online when I was asleep, so it was very strange. So what I'll do is I'll go AFK on this island and play cards with high auctions. This is definitely worth- Yes, high auctions, we know you're a bottom. <laughs> high auctions video soon, coming 2022. In all seriousness, I convinced him to DM me on Discord and we ended up talking. Basically, he did say that he got scammed and that he would send me more screenshots later, but he did not send me any screenshots of him getting scammed. But realistically, who would admit to being scammed by a fake e-girl? So personally, I think it's real. It might be fake. I have no idea. The scammers might be IRL trading, I don't really know. Medox and his friends share the same alt account which is named Hyperman, which is the same person who DM'd me. So I don't know if it was Medox who wanted me to make a video on him, or someone else. Also, these two might be connected to Ooh Corona. Now, if you don't know who that is, don't worry, I'm gonna make a video on them in like a couple weeks. Long story short, he's another big scammer, but the only connection I could find is that he scammed one of his friends. And another piece of info is that we found that Medox, Hyperman, and his co-op member all bid on each other's auctions. I'm not talking about, you know, bidding it to increase the price or anything. I meant like hundreds of millions bid on random items. Before I get attacked in the comments, I'm just going to say that the 25 billion were all from the co-op, not from just Medox. Also, when I said that Menacing Banana scammed them earlier, or at least tried to, it's not his recent scams where, you know, he would say like, guys, please bid on my auction house or friend request, please, please, please. It was supposedly a carry scam, but at this time, I'll have any screenshots of this, just take this with a grain of salt. Long story short, this is why they should add the original Aces Eagle rank idea.